Timer started. Headphones on. Mario's back in my brain. Nathan, you've, you've can, you can people. Hang on, I gotta redo that entire fucking thing because I've stuttered through it like. A <laughs> 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 Fuck it. Maybe that should just be the opener. No. What I was going to say was Nathan. You've heard of the butt dial, but have you considered a bottom text? Aha! Aha! Oh, that was way better because it was the first time I delivered it. Anyway, welcome to Doritos. Uh, is it a Dorito? There's a hundred of those in this one. Fuck's sake! Is it, let's see. What do we got? Sixty-nine. Oh yeah, welcome to the Sand Kingdom, everybody. Sixty-nine. And the second stars. episode of Mario Odyssey. Welcome to the thing that's about to be like three episodes long because of this shit. To be fair, Fucking 69? Did they do that on purpose? Right now, but... Talk to the cultural appropriation people. I like them. No! You're not supposed to like them. The white people will be mad at you. I... like cultural appropriation. I think it's funny. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> the, this is gonna sound so fucking racist. Because, like, the word that was about to come out of my mouth... Was excellent, but anyway. <laughs> I like that. Really? I said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, the folks that live live down in old Mexico, or the the folks that have come up from Mexico and now live in America, I've seen so many things where like people are wearing like sombreros and like traditional uh, dusters and stuff, like on Cinco de Mayo and shit, and they're like. They walk around a college town, and it's just the college, the people going to college, so it's just a bunch of white, yeah. activist, fucking sons of bitches, Stupid. and they're like, do you like my outfit for today? And they're like, no, it's cultural appropriation, it's terrible, it's racist, it's, you're sending the wrong sentiment. And then you go to the part of town where that population is heavily there, and they're like, I fucking love your outfit, dude. That's so good. Where'd you get it? It looks very authentic. Yeah, the only people that care. Are yeah, like no one fucking gives a shit. I don't know what... So I think lightly. this entire movement, this is going to sound terrible, I think this entire movement started with a bunch of white bitches that are just angry. And they're like, no one else can have any fun. Well, that's the thing that I said before, is that, like, they like to LARP. Mm. That they yeah. are, like... That's a good way to put it. Like, civil rights activists. Except that every civil right exists now. So yeah. Like they're just having to make stuff up to be angry about. And it's not like wearing something like that out there in, in public is is making fun of them. Yeah. Unless, if you're doing it mean-spirited, obviously it is. But it, it, just wearing it on, like, the day of celebration. How did you know that was there? Controller vibrates. Oh, okay. I thought you just fucking epiphanied that after the last episode. You said, I don't remember anything about this game. <laughs> Perfect. You let the feeling move you. There's a coin in here somewhere, though. It's like right here. A purple one? No, why, sure why, did, why did... I just wanted to find it. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> fine. Whatever. Fine. 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 Fuck me. I wish all the people were painted different. Because all, all the skulls you see... They're from different... They're, they're, like, painted different, usually. I want to get that bird. You jump for him, probably? Yeah, but I... What? I, Did he just go place to place and plaster these fucking posters everywhere? I you want to come to his wedding. Yeah, because he's got no fucking friends, Nathan. He's an asshole. Well, the same might be said for me one day. No, people will <laughs> gladly come to your wedding. It's different whenever you're an asshole and a dictator and you kill people and burn their homes down and then go, I'm getting married, everybody. Send your assassins. Somebody should just kill Bowser. I mean, well, I mean you're you're playing as the guy who would, has the potential to do that, but I don't. Get this bird. I I you know what? I hope you do. Got him. Oh, it had a moon. Yeah, it had a moon at him. I thought you were. I, I thought you meant. It. I oh, you're fucked. I thought you meant like get the hat on him so you could be him. No, I just he was sparkling, so I knew he had a moon. Well, okay, there you go, everybody. Nathan, I gotta keep you away from the strip clubs. You're gonna think all the titties have fucking <laughs> moons in them. Hey, that kind of harks back to the last episode. We're like, oh yeah, pregnant women have moons in them. You dumbass thing. You mean hitting it with my hat doesn't hit it? What happens if the fucking please? Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. That's one of my favorite things you do. Is the please? 
Like, it fucking makes me think of the Nicolas Cage bit where he's like, The bees! Oh, God! Not the bees! Not the bees! I love that movie. You can't find it anywhere either. I don't even know what it's called. I just know that bit exists. The Whipper Man. The Whipper... You've talked about this before, yeah. Because I think the only time I've heard... That name was, like, ingrained in my head and you activated me like a sleeper agent, but it was only because it was in your voice. (laughs) I swear to God. The Whipper Man. Jesus. He's in... Nicolas Cage is supposed to be Dracula in some vampire thing that's coming up. I forget what it's called. It's it's like... The na- it, the movie's the name of his assistant. It's like Renfield or something like that. But Renfield is the assistant to Dracula and like drags in his fresh catches and feeds him and shit, you know? That might be cool. Well, except it's Nicolas Cage. Never mind. You just like... You just said you liked him. Uh, I like him ironically. You know what I mean? Like... So you only like him when he's cool, then? No, I like him uh, because I don't think he's a very good actor, and I think that he uh, is just drunk all the time and phones in his performances. I didn't know anything about that. Oh, okay. So much for being behind the counter here. Hang on, go back. I have a question. What? Where's no... The music is gone. There's music in there. No, 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 there's no music out here. It's just like a drifting sandscape. It might be because we haven't, like, saved this kingdom yet, so it's just kind of bleak and sad and everybody's cold. And why is it frozen? Uh, Bowser froze it. I thought he'd breathe fire. Well... <laughs> Look. <laughs> I no know. answer again, alright. You lose like one that. gamer point, yeah. game. Oh, what about that big purple oasis over there? We'll get there. This world is huge, so we'll... Fuck's sake, why can't you be a fucking hawk, then? ...to everything, but it's gonna take a minute. We gotta... We, one thing at a time. I don't know why I just thought of this, but my brain went back to, like, middle school with me and you, and you had a, a shirt that had a, a a bird on it, and it, its beak was on the ground, and it said I froze my pecker off in Door County. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a good shirt. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know why that randomly came to my head. It's probably because I saw one of the bird. No, I was thinking of hawks. What the fuck is that? Cactus. No, the, is it attached to a metal rod? What the fuck is that? That is not what a cacti's roots look like. It's just a stem or something, I guess. I call it bullshit. You know what's funny, though? Watch this. Wow, that was hilarious. No, but look at, look at his nose. Oh, that is funny. I like that. <laughs> wow. Ooh, wow. Fuck. Did you do anything with that or they go away? Okay, oh, you're okay. dirty now! You just know where everything is, don't you? Oh, it probably vibrated again, didn't it? No, there were birds all over it. Did the... So I knew that there was something going on there. Oh, well look at you. You're a fucking little inquisitive See, master. birds gather all around. Yeah, there. they're cute. They look like bananas. There's another bird here, though, I think. I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> Gaze out at the sea of nothing. Uh, at least get the checkpoint. So you can fast travel on over here. Too bad this isn't sunshine. You could climb the palm tree leaves. You can climb the palm trees. Not the leaves, though. Yeah. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Fuck you. I didn't know that. <laughs> What's with the weird... Huh? A music note? Yeah, oh, are these the red anything. coins of the of this... Why'd they have to change everything, Nathan? Well, there are musical notes in... It's not one of the other games, I think. Why do they have to it's change? It's because there's also red coins, so it's a different kind of thing. Why didn't they just use red coins? coins? Did the music budget have to go up? Well, they had 800 stars to hide, so... They, they had, had to get the, more creative. They had the... <laughs> it's their fucking fault! They would have put 800 goddamn moons in the game! Fucking 800 moons? God... I was about to make a joke. I don't even have 800 videos, but I have, like, double that almost. I say, Probably more than that. Uh, I think the, of last tally, like, 1.7 or something. But you have to factor in, you know, which ones are, like, best ofs. And, You're a cactus? You're not going to be very transparent as a cactus, you know. Me. I'm a rocket ship. I swear to God, they're just putting these in places that are like, yeah, this will work. Oh, you Fuck know what? It. There are Koopas. There's one right over here. That's not a Koopa. That's a Mexicoopa. 
Oh, but he's nice. Yeah, you don't fight them. Well, then what the... <laughs> Everyone loves walking. Problem is, people don't take it very seriously. That's what trace walking is you know, all about. Well, you want to know something that I'm really bad at? Trace walking? Yes. Oh, God. What is trace walking? You'll see. Oh, do you only have to walk on the arrows? Yeah, but they disappear. It's just a circle. I know, but it's... You gotta score 80 points. Oh, okay, I see where the problem comes. Like, it's really hard to judge, and then... No, you definitely fucked up there. You went a little... You, you went a little... You leaned a little in. You scored 91 points! We did it! First try, baby! Boom, the power moon is yours. Why are they green here? There are different colors in every world. Nathan, why are they doing this? It's gotta be uniformed. Oh, it's... It's, uh... You know... You know? No, I don't. Get your creativity out of my Mario game. Don't touch the purple stuff. Got it. Favorite color. Touch it. You think he was talking about the nacho chips? How do you want to touch those? Well, I know. That's what I'm saying. Do you think he's talking about don't touch the, the, the coins or the, or the sea? The sea of ooze. Ivan ooze. What about Power Rangers? Let's talk about Power Rangers for a second. I love Ivan ooze and Power Rangers. Yeah, Ivan... What was the name of the fucking muscular piece of shit? Uh, Victor something. Uh, Von Doom. But that's a different... No, place. Victor Von Doom is fucking <laughs> Doctor Doom from Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. There's a Power Rangers guy who's got... Who's like all muscly and shit. No, his name's Zed. His name's fucking Zed because I remember the big Z on his, on his chest. He was another one of the... Most of my knowledge of the Power Rangers comes from the Mighty Morphin movie. Because I, I don't remember a lot from the show. I just remember that lady that was like the Asian lady that was like the main bad guy or whatever. The sorceress? Yeah. Yeah, she was hot on Zed. I think. And she awoke Victor... Wait. What, what was the name of the big head that told the power... Oh! It, like Zod or something like that? I'm going to put my fucking drink down. Look up this goddamn... Alright, here's the Google search, everybody. Head that teaches Power Rangers. I, I mean, I literally haven't watched it since I was, like, four. I know so. he ended up being a bad guy. He's Zordon. His name's Zordon. Okay, I was close. I, I remember him being evil at the ending, though. Like, that was the ending of Mighty Morphin, was they had to fight him. Also in the search, there's a little bar tab that says, Who is the Power Rangers teacher? And it's Royce Pauline Heron, who is an American actress and educator. So it's a real person. She taught the Power Rangers. Here's, a, here's some trivia for you. Do you remember the name of the two, uh, like, bully guys that always messed with the Power Rangers? Do you remember their names? No, but... Bulk and Skull. Skull, yes. I remember... Skull was the fat one, right? No, Bulk, Bulk was, was the fat, the fat one. one. Well, it's funny because around the... When I was a kid, it was, like, bullies, there was always a really fat one and a really skinny one. And, like, anytime I think about it, it's like... Do you remember Sky High? No. That's where it really comes together for me, is in that movie, because there's there's it's, there's it's a speedster, that guy who is fat, and then there's a, a skinny guy whose, like, arms are really long and, you know, Mr. Fantastic, whatnot. I don't know, it just it really catapulted its way right there for me. Did that just, like, shoot up a law of a geyser? Mud, I think, but um, clay, sand. Yeah, but um, I looked away from the screen to look up what I was talking about, and now I have absolutely no fucking idea what the fuck. I'm pretty is sure Bulk is still in the Power Rangers shows to this day. Fucking why? Because I was watching one of the more recent ones, and I was like, this there was Bulk. <laughs> like seriously? Still? Like the old man? Yeah, he's. Just, well, I mean, he looks almost exactly the same. He's really? Like a big fat guy. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Okay, so you're a Robbie now. It's it's there. weird that I brought up Power Rangers because the Green Ranger just suicided himself. I thought it was no one of them went to jail recently. No, uh, the the Green Power Ranger, which I've met several times at Comic Cons and shit, like several times just walking around. Like he he he'll go for like autographs and you have to pay like seventy five dollars for him to autograph something or something or whatnot. But like every single convention I've ever been to, he's been there. Huh. I've met that guy on so many occasions, and then, like, I read the other day, like, he suicided himself. I mean, that's, that's a bummer. 
I mean, I, I, it's not like I, like, I'm not going to say, like, quote-unquote, I knew him or anything like that. Right. I, I just knew he was that, and then, like, I've seen him a couple times and interacted with him, but, like, on the, like, oh, dude, how are you? I never went, like, holy shit, I'm a huge goddamn fan, I know how you breathe and shit when you sleep. <laughs> I never did anything like that, but, God, it's so weird to read that, and I'm like, and he did it in a hotel room. So I think that guy literally traveled, like, coast to coast, just going to every single convention. Sure, probably, I mean... What a fucking depressing way to get your money, though. Well, that's, uh, that's what I was about to say. It's, like, probably why he killed himself. Like, can you imagine that that's... That your legacy is literally that you were a Power Ranger, and that's, like, it. I think he's been in, like... He's in a lot of, like, fan shit, though. Because there was something... I don't know if they still make him or not. There was There was a show... On some YouTube channel, I want to say it's called, like, Bat in the Dark or something like that. But it was called Superpower Beatdown. And it was, like, a fan-made show where every week... It's kind of like Epic Rap Battles of History. Like, every week they'd, like, vote on, like, who they want to see fight. And then they'd make, like, a almost triple-A quality movie fight with those two characters. And then, like, based on whatever the fans, like, said to win or vote to win, that's who wins. But they, like, they shoot it, like, all different ways. Like, oh, this this... You know, if they would have voted this way, it would have ended like this. And if they would have voted this way, it would have ended like this. And they show you all those, like, in their special effects. But he, he, they had a Power Ranger go up against somebody. And he was the Power Ranger. Like, at the beginning, like, you know, before they masked up. He was like, oh, I'm here to kick your ass. I don't remember who he fought. Huh, what's going to make me angry? It was, it was Scorpio. It was Scorpio from Mortal Kombat. Oh. Which, I'm pretty sure he beat the shit out of Scorpio because there's more fans of Power Rangers than there are. Oh, they have to be at the same height as the thing. That's annoying. Are there more fans of Power Rangers than there are? I would think... Combat? I would think so. Because Power Rangers started in Japan... I don't know for sure. I'm just going to say in an Asian country. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then, sure. like, the one guy... I can't think of his name. The director of all these... All the... Think they would just take the action things and then shoot their own American like voice yeah. scenes and be like that would be the story, but they'd always reuse the fights. So he just bought the footage of all these like Japanese people beating the shit out of each other in suits because no one's no one's face is yeah. out there. Even the mo the monsters of those were actually really creative. Most of them. Yeah, I like the Power Rangers. To be honest with you, you've got nothing to add to this conversation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. That's just like, that's all I'm getting out of you. It's fine. No, um... I don't really have a lot to talk about it because... I think I watched Mighty Morphin and I think I watched the, like, cop one. But that's it. There was a dinosaur one? Oh, yeah, that was in between the cop one and the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't think I watched a lot of that one, but I definitely knew it existed. There's a lot. Of, there's, like, a samurai one and a fucking... I'm sure there's... Which is kind of weird because they're already kind of, like, ninjas... So I don't know why. <laughs> like a samurai would conceptually is just. The same I wouldn't thing. be surprised if there's a fucking pirate one now, dude. They just need to find like a theme to go with the theme of beating the shit out of people. That would be cool. I'd watch a pirate, pirate Power Rangers. Pirate Power Rangers. Well, I don't know. Pirates can be a little. You should go in the Forbidden Butthole. I wonder what happens if I fall in that. I was. Lit Did you not hear what I said? I said please go in the Forbidden Butthole. I think you have to go directly into it though. We're sinking! Jump! Jump! I don't think anything happened. Oh my word! Oh my word, here we are. Nathan, how did you know this was down here? I didn't. Why is there a giant icicle cave beneath a very hot exterior? Well, it's cold out, remember? Well, yeah, but I'm assuming that the cold was new. We're, we're gonna, uh, in this world, we're gonna see, like, one of the most classic and well-known Nintendo tropes in the world, so I hope you're ready. Is it a fire and ice theme? No. It is a boss that is a big head and two floating hands. <gasps> the master hand equivalent! Thank God. It's like that, and it's like, uh, Sometimes Bongo I wish... Bongo from, like, Ocarina of Time, and it's just like somebody... Okay, you forget, I've game. never played that, so I don't know what that is. We but, need to okay. play that Amateur's Mask. Nathan, we need to play every game. Nintendo game ever. That's not true, but... That's literally play... what you... Every single time we play a Nintendo game, we're like, we need to play this Nintendo okay, game next. Well, I... We need to play Yoshi's Cookies. Have you ever played Yoshi's Cookies? <laughs> I don't know what that is. You don't know what Yoshi's Cookies is? It was their answer to Tetris. 
you just match a bunch of fucking cookies together and fight each like it was it was built for two player but you know you could you could face the computer. It was Zach's video game. Oh yeah, that uh yeah, I fell. You sure did. Did he ever finish that? No. Oh. Not that I know of. He doesn't talk about it. I've always wanted to make a video game, but I also know that I, I do not at all... I don't have the have skill set. I could definitely do the marketing of said video game, but I definitely could not do anything else on it. I could only really ever do, like, the, the concept. <laughs> you could be the idea, man. Yeah. I, I couldn't even be the pockets of such an operation, to be honest. It, it takes a lot of money to make a game, especially yeah. if you're employing people to do it. And... For, and just seeing the struggles he's gone through to make his... For most likely... Uh, a just a complete loss of money. A like, niche no audience way, at there's best. There's no way you make money unless you're like in the top. No, what you need to do is make a concept and a demo that is unique enough for a publishing company to view it and go, that has a lot of potential, and then get picked up. Because there's a lot of indie publishers that have been helping get shit, like uh, uh, Devolver comes to mind. Like they push through a lot of like stuff that I feel like would never stand on its own. What's with the fucking lion? But personally, my favorite is Hyper Strange. I really love their shit. That's the develop That's the publisher of Blood West. Everybody, my fucking favorite. Well, my favorite publisher is probably Coffee Stain. Oh, yes, absolutely I satisfactory. Mean, fucking Deep Rock Galactic. Valheim. Yeah, they, 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 dude, they don't have a single a one. Thousand. They, ha they, they don't have a do. single miss on their fucking roster, dude. Oh man. Fucking <laughs> coffee stain, Jesus man. Yeah, what good. the fuck is that? Are you breaking right now? Yeah. Okay. I could definitely tell. This thing is really hard to control. I well now you don't have to deal with it. Oh never mind, you have to deal with it more. Yeah. Oh, he's the fucking answer to the little bloopers that were impossible to control then. Yeah, pretty much. You bad. need those over there. Ugh. Ugh. You scared me, sir. Yeah, co what else has Coffee Stain done? Oh, that's not really the only three I can think of. Those are the three. Like, that, those are the three big ones three that I've played. <laughs> I haven't played Valheim since well that series ended. The new update's pretty cool. I haven't played a lot of it, but it I has, hear like, they added degree. blood magic. Yeah, they added like necromancy and stuff. Why would they do that? I don't know, but it's cool. Does it like help the game, or does it become its own thing pretty quick? Wow, this isn't going to be impossible. Oh, oh just one. Uh, it, it, as, because it's like, you can't just do it. You have to, like, cook special food that you can only get in the mist lands. And so oh, so it's, like, very heavily locked within that terrain. Yeah. So okay, well, that's good. End game thing. Well, mist lands, is, is, I'm no, assuming, sorry. takes place somewhere before the plains, then, right? No, I think it's late game. I think it's after the plains. Really? Because yeah. the plains was such a fucking hardcore kick in your dick anyway. I haven't got because I restarted the game in. You have to, dude. Every time I play something like that, I have to restart it. I'm gonna shoot myself. Um, but I haven't. I haven't gotten to the Mistlands yet because it takes a long time. I think to, there are giant spiders in there, aren't there? There's some kinds of giant bugs. Yeah. I really hope it's. From what I've seen, all of the new weapons and armor and like magic and stuff's really cool. I cannot do this. <laughs> it's worse than trace walking, everybody. Giant lion. Yeah, I really... This is not my favorite aspect. This lion. There you go. You got it that time. Well, I would totally dust off the world I was playing on for the series, but... I wouldn't remember anything. I didn't. It's one. Of, it's like Minecraft with me. Like, oh. Why the fuck did you do I that, silly? Press the wrong button. It's like Minecraft. Every time I play Minecraft, I have to relearn. Because every time I play it, it's because they've added something new. The last time I played Minecraft, well, you recall. I, yeah, I, you made I me literally you gaslit know, me with cake, you jackass. I, I, I literally didn't know how to do anything except make cake. Like, <laughs> like as so they one used thing it as a just weapon. like, oh, I, I don't know how to do any of the new stuff. But they literally changed mining. So, like, what do I do? I don't what do they change my... Oh, you haven't played since, like, no. very long, long ago. So I was like, I didn't know, like, how to do anything anymore. I think it would have helped if you would have started when we started. Yeah, I, I jumped in kind of... In you jumped in, like, when we were 
I would say in the middle of the game, because we had just gotten to the Nether around the time. Yeah, because you you chased me into the Nether. Yeah. 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 You. Yeah. I remember that. But yeah, cause I so I. Just, that reminds me. That fucking best of series is done, and oh my god, is it a fucking funny one? All I knew was how to make cake. All I know, and that's also why his fucking skin in that series was a goddamn pastry chef. You fuck. <laughs> that's always my skin, to be fair. I know. But um. Yeah, there was this kind of thing where I was like, let's. Whoa. Usually, one of my first goals in Minecraft was like, okay, well, I, if I can make a cake, but I know that I'm in good shape, that annoys me. <laughs> but um, if I can make a cake, I'm in good shape. Well, recently, we we're not playing this for the channel or anything, but recently I got invited because I got invited to this weird server of. It's an amalgamation of like seven friend groups, of just, and I got invited because Riley, you know Riley, yeah, yeah, my large term. Anyway, I got invited because he pitched me as a chaotic idiot, and then they were like, "Fuck it, we gotta have him in here." So I joined, and it was it's a Minecraft server that ha it's it's there's a certain set of mods that make Minecraft into something called. Medieval Minecraft, and it is shock full of shit that I still don't understand. Like there's there's a there's dehydration and there's like, you know how the Nether and the Ender worlds on their own. Yeah. Now there's seven more that are also just equally as huge and have really cool stuff in them. And That's a lot. Yeah. Then there's there's witch magic now, and you can. Farmcraft. Farmcraft? Farmcraft is my favorite Minecraft mod. Um, I think the magic from this one comes from something called Bewitchment. Oh. But there's also a shitload, of, like, when you first start into the medieval Minecraft, you get to choose your origin. There's like 20 different races you can choose from. A lot of them are like, you're a knight. And then it's like, there's another one that's like, you're also a knight, but it has different things. Right. I chose dwarf, naturally, because I'm a dwarf, space dwarf. Dwarves are and the best race. They are the best race. You're one block tall, which is really fun. Because you can just dig into some place, fucking run away. It's really <laughs> fun. Their only downs, the only down, you also mine faster. The only downside to being a dwarf is that in the, during the day you get set on fire like a creature would, and you can't see anything. You can counteract that by wearing a golden helmet, but you know at the beginning of the game it's really hard. You spawn in, it's day, and you're immediately on fire, and you're like, "Fuck, <laughs> I gotta dig a hole." Why do dwarves light on fire? I don't know. I think it's just a way to like make Balance them a little them, bit. I guess. Yeah, because go well, think about okay. I really, I really wanted to do this, like... I really wanted to do this in, in a serious capacity, but I, it's just not going to happen, so I'm just going to talk about it here. Fucking... In medieval Minecraft, you can be a dwarf, right? You, you, so you're one block tall. You can go into places, right? And just mine while one block tall. No one can follow you. No one can follow you at all, right? Other than, like, they have, they have fairies and shit, but they're not going to... You can see in the dark, too. You don't yeah. need torches. That's another fun thing. But, within Medieval Minecraft, there's another mod called Mythic Metals. Mythic Metals adds a bunch of different ores to the game, right. like uh, Mithril and Orichalcum and Adamantite, but it also adds something called Bangalum. Bangalum can be made into a literal fucking nuke. You can make Bangalum into a nuke. <laughs> so I, my whole play, because this was a PvP server that I got invited to, my whole play was to make three nukes, dig a one by one tunnel into their base, ignite this giant because it was a it was so you have to like make a nine by nine cube and in the middle there's a nuke core. After you make the thing, you light it and then it's a nuke, right? Otherwise it's just a, a piece of shit bunch of blocks. Yeah. You fucking ignite it and I just run back down my tube and then watch it it's it it feels like 25 TNT blocks all going off at once, you know? It's a huge explosion. It was so much fun because everyone would just come back like, What the fuck happened? Because no one knew about nukes but me. Because <laughs> I was the only... Everyone else was interested in going into all those other seven worlds I was talking about, yeah. right? Everyone else was interested in the, Oh, what can I get from this world or this world? I was so busy in the overworld being like, I need more Bangalore. <laughs> I need to make more nukes. That everyone was like, there's fucking nukes in this game! By the time it had already just... I've already nuked, like, three other bases. Like, what <laughs> the fuck keeps happening? The tiny fucker keeps blowing our shit up! So that was a lot of fun. But, yeah, Medieval Minecraft, if if you ever play Minecraft again, 
I definitely think uh, you should get it. And I can help you figure out a way to get it. I know all the mod packs for it. But holy shit, if you thought being... <laughs> if you thought having just like, oh yeah, I could make a cake, you could make so much cake, Nathan. <laughs> you could make so much cake in this mod. And it's, 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 again, it's just an amalgamation of mods. It's so fun. But that server uh, recently ended because, well, it... When you have about 25 people on one server all doing their own thing and being fuckwits, things are going to get corrupted pretty quick. I was going to say, I feel like uh, there were probably some hard feelings that developed in a situation like that. Mm, well... Oh, you mean with the new king? Oh, I didn't give a fuck. No, no, I just mean like in general, like people who in video games don't work well in large groups for very long. No, it's not even that because we all we all kind of formed our own factions. So, like, all the friend groups were a faction, and then two friend groups joined up, and there were nine of them in one group, and they were the biggest group. And they were the ones I was constantly nuking, because they had nine bodies. And five of those nine bodies were always. I mean, didn't have jobs, unemployed, always on that fucking server. So I'd get home from work, and I'd be like, alright, I'm gonna put a little time in. And I'd be like, holy shit, these guys are fighting the Ender Dragon, it's day two of the server. <laughs> what the fuck? No, these motherfuckers have just fucking grinded... The path to a bit, and then uh, and then you know, it becomes a whole different thing. Whenever you're PvPing in Minecraft, and someone owns the only end portal, yeah. you know, so now I have to go there and fucking nuke the end portal so no one can get in the fucking <laughs> end. Yeah, it's a whole thing. A lot of strategy. Go. What the? Okay. Anyway, back to my back to back to Mario. I've been talking about Minecraft for like 15 minutes, and no one cares. I like one. You know, the problem for me is that, like... It's hard to get invested. Well, for me, it's just, like, um... I, I don't have, like, super a lot of time. Right, yeah. And so it's, hard, it's hard to find time to schedule, like, playing with other people. And also, playing by yourself is not, like, all that much fun. No, like it's that. not that so, like, much fun. Like, I'd rather just spend my time doing something else, because... Not that much fun to well then, how are you going to join us for the Valheim series? We do when it's finally out. I would try and find time to do that. Well, a lot when we were doing that series, a lot of it was like playing on your own to grind up to where we need to be because there's no way we can grind for six hours on camera. You know, something that I like about Valheim is that you can join different servers with, with the, the same, same character. character. Yeah, didn't Terraria do the same thing? It might have. I never played much Terraria. I didn't either, but I thought I, th I think they do that as well. Why are some of them important some of them aren't? Uh, they're just like, there's certain ones you need to get in order to progress the oh. main part of the world. So after we get rid of the ice and the sand kingdom, will everyone be happy again? Yeah. And there will be also more moons and stuff we can, we'll be able to get. You didn't even go into the shop! I haven't got, well I didn't have enough coins yet at the time, I hope we do. Now. Oh, do they not accept regular coins? They do, but I just wanted to get like a decent... Well, fuck, get all the purple coins, then go sell them out, dude. The, Make that mom and pop forget. It's kind of cool because you get costumes, which is neat, but also you get a bunch of stickers and they go all over the outside of your ship. It, it's kind of like a passport or, you know, or whatever. Or like people like you'd stick on the suitcase, they, yeah. 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 I like that the big environments have the see-through Robbies. That's kind of fun. Yeah, they're neat. What are the cultural appropriation people doing? Things are heating up at the inverted pyramid. They must be trying to steal our legendary binding band. Why would Bowser send his goons off to get the things that are required to be married? I'm sorry, Nathan. I trust you, but I'd never be like, go get my ring. <laughs> go find. Go. I've already paid for it. You just gotta go get it. Can this thing jump? No. So I have to look at where it goes and then. Oh, I thought you could take it with you. <laughs> Loser. I like how they've kind of built everybody into their own shindig here. Like everything has a purpose. I never dropped it. You sure fucking did, buddy. <laughs> you jumped in the Victor Ivan ooze. I don't need your help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. I just looked at him, I was Maybe. waiting. I was like, he's either not going to acknowledge what just happened, or potential funnies. 
Yeah, why wouldn't you take the long path as uh, in, instead of the small, short jump that you may or may not get correct? I don't need your help. You say that. Well, actually, dive towards the nachos, and you probably got it. As for the rest of the path, you probably yeah, you should probably just jump to it. Shit! Oh fuck. Okay. All right. So those three tiles on that wall back there—that's what you're aiming for. The middle, the middle three tiles. Go. Okay. All right. Or you could just go the whole fucking direction. I guess that's cool too. Nathan, you do not do things the easy way. I think that was the easy way. I don't fucking think it was. I think that requires far more skill than you need. Well, skill is my middle name. I really wanted you to dive into the purple right there. I feel like there must be a secret in here that I must have missed. What makes you think that? I just feel like there's always a secret. You have serious FOMO when it comes to secrets. I gotta know. I've gotta know. What'd they say? What were they joking about that night? How many drinks did they chug for their ass? I wanna know. Can you show me? I wanna know. Did you not know the rest of the words? I do. I just couldn't be bothered. Oh, okay. I don't think there's anything else in here. That's Phil Collins. Who's Phil Collins? The guy who sings the music from Tarzan. Oh. That is, of course, the music from Tarzan. The music from Tarzan, also known as Phil Collins' music. Also the lead singer of Genesis. I'm not going to say anything. Because I don't know who Genesis is. <laughs> it's a band. Oh, no shit! <laughs> it's also a book! It's true, it is. The first book of the Bible. Correct! That's where the naked people are. You gotta look there. There's no pictures, though. You gotta imagine them. Which is almost hotter. <laughs> the reality is also often disappointing. What is that from? From nothing. I just said No, it. reality is... Uh, it's a Thanos quote from Thanos from Infinity War. Does he say Reality that? is often disappointing. Yeah, he does say that. that. Well, you don't watch a lot of Marvel flicks, so I wouldn't expect you to know that. Did you just fuck yourself? Nah. Yeah. Oh, you can get another bullet bill right there. How convenient! They're shooting off. Hold Y to accelerate. And why in God's name would I want to do that? Oh, God. You know what's interesting? Seeing a bullet bill go con entirely against its own kind just because it's wearing a hat. <laughs> Makes you feel like Mario's kind of villainous. Like... Well, he is mind-wiping all these assholes and then, pr for the most part, killing them. Suicide bombing all these bullet bills. Yeah, but if you were shot from a gun born to die, is it really your fault if you're... I'm trying to say it, but I could. You got oozed. You got oozed. Well, at least you're under a thousand coins now. Now you're not rich anymore. Tax deductions, right? True. Maybe Bowser's just a tax man and he's misunderstood. For oh, fuck's sake. Hmm. You're really leaking that skill, aren't you? Oh, no, I am. Ha 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 ha! No, yeah, you got it that time. Well, you almost got it too much. Don't you want it? Yeah, I was say, don't you want to get rid of it since it's about to combust? I do, but I unfortunately suck at video games. I'm sad, Nathan. Why are you sad? This is the first series that we can't talk shit about Dan Aykroyd in. Why? Oh, because he because he's not in no it. No involvement in it. <laughs> so he's not yeah. dead. We can still talk about him. Well, thank God something happened recently. Dude, know. it would be the weirdest deja vu if it was if, if, uh, if us bringing up. I made a fucking sh a snackable about it. It was like <laughs> I th the title of it's going to be like. Nathan and Noah talk shit about Dan Aykroyd for seven minutes long because I think it's seven minutes of just us being like, Fuck Dan Aykroyd! <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't be so crazy. It's funny. So much, of, so many of the bits that have become snackables, at least that I've been producing lately, is, is between me and you. <laughs> because, I don't know, my, my other, the other people, the other willing idiots, one, aren't around as much anymore, and two, they just don't have, like, good bit moments anymore. Like, nothing, nothing can be, like, strung together in a series of, you know, it's all their own individual, like, conversation. It sucks. But, 
A lot of your stories end up as snackies. It's just more, more quippy, I guess. No, it's not even that. It, I think it's the way you present your thoughts in such a way that it just feels very storyboarded, you know? <laughs> so it just feels more natural, I guess, is the easiest way to say it. But still, that one should be coming out. This will this will come out after the best of 2022, which, fuck, I hope I get done lately. Because I am about over-watching stuff. I want to start making new shit. Like, this is the first thing I've recorded in months, Nathan. Really? Yeah, I... I, I I've been so busy trying to get through the, like, over a hundred hours of content review. Jeez. I make a lot of shit that no one watches, but <laughs> I, I, I take a lot of pride in that, in that last final bit. Because I, I know in 20 years from now, I'm going to look at, like, oh, right, best of 2022, let's see what the fuck was funny to me back then. And it was like, oh, good, it's still sex jokes, you know? <laughs> it's still yeah. sex jokes. Because a lot of... <laughs> A lot of the Ghostbusters series was just me asking you if you'd fuck a slime girl. It's true, you did you, ask me. I'm glad you remember that. Yeah, I distinctly remember saying, no, I don't think I would. <laughs> yeah, I tried to get you to tell me what your favorite uh, monster girl was, and you said, a normal human woman. I was like, ah, oh, that's no fun. Well, like... Why'd you have to go through all that if you could just come up here like that? To get the stars, I mean the moons... No you called them stars. Even shine brights are more appealing than moons, Nathan. <laughs> I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying, you know. You said this was the best Mario game. That fucking sheep is wearing a sombrero! Yeah, thank I'm immediately a fan of that. Why would you do that? I gotta it's... get him back to his owner. Oh. Does everything wear sombreros in this universe? In this world it does, yeah. This is this is this is a this is a bit from Spyro, Nathan. There's what are they called? They're, they're, the little slug people have elephants that they herd, but I think they called them something else. And it's funny because the slug's name was Little Bo Peep, and he was wearing a little straw hat, and he looked very mannish, but he <laughs> had a little straw hat. What the fuck happened to your car, dude? Nice taxi. This normal man. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Burr. I think you can dig there. Perfect. You really launched that fucking sheep out the way, though, didn't you? <laughs> Come back, Did you just buddy. steal that taxi driver's luggage? Yeah. What the fuck? Screw him. That was the power source for his taxi, Nathan. Yeah, How's he gonna get a job? He's gonna fuck. You fucking love Taxi or whatever that name, whatever that fucking show is I called. Like taxi. Yeah. So you just ruined that whole show because you stole his power source. Well, it's an old show anyway. It's, a uh. it's time. Now it's time for much less funny and endearing shows to shine. Like, like what? Like show ever made now. Comedy is dead. That's why we have to revive it. Well, we're trying. Yeah, with our fucking talking about Minecraft for half the episode. <laughs> well, no reason. We just, we're comedy gold around here. I don't but know, we have moments. We do. We're definitely not as consistent as some of those poorly put together shows. There's a lot of NSB... NCBA, what the fuck is it? Anyway, whatever the fucking network is, they've been making like a shitload of sitcoms and a lot of them are like half-hearted. Yeah, they, they're... I was watching like the Night Court reboot. Yes! I actually do... Ass. I do kind of like it a little bit. But it, it, <laughs> it's not as good as the, the original. Yeah. It's I do same. like that they brought back the lawyer. He He's fun. He's my only favorite. And I do like Bernadette as the fucking... Was that really a riddle? Yeah. They get harder. Because this guy shows up quite a few times. Well, that fucking riddle was what does Bowser want from this land, and if you've been paying attention even as <laughs> slightly as I have, you'll know it's a ring. Because every sombrero-wearing motherfucker from here to there has been, has been like, Oh, he wants our legendary band! And no, we're not talking about the assholes who play the instruments. Sphinx's treasure vault. Thanks for your treasure vault, idiot. Does Donkey Kong show up in this game? You know what? As a pixelated thing, he does. But Immediate like, fucking yeah. L. This game sucks. You know what I really want? I This won't surprise you at all, probably. Another Donkey Kong game? <laughs> Another Donkey Kong Yeah, game. I know. <laughs> I want to play Tropical Freeze on the channel again, Noah. Fuck, okay. I love that game. 26 more episodes of fucking... God damn it, I'm going to kill myself. Fuck me. Wow. That's every game I play. Nathan, you're supposed to be playing games to relax you. The only game I don't do that with... Or the only games, interestingly, is like from software games. Of course they are. I think are. because I know that it's going to be miserable and hard. A lot of people awesome. are really angry at from software right now. Why? Because fucking Elden. 
Elden Ring's getting a DLC before Sekiro gets one. Well, and Sekiro was a dog shit video game. I know! No one fucking... No. There's so many people that are like, bro, Sekiro's never gonna get DLC, and I don't know if people well, like it. I don't it. think people liked it. I didn't like it. I didn't I like it either. Software. I know there's a, there's a sect of people that it's like their favorite from software game, but for those people I say, why the fuck are you only pairing, you stupid idiot? Those people are, are wrong and bad. Well, they really did take like a, a singular sect of the of like a from software experience and was like, yes, only parry, please, only parry. It's stupid. I just like there's no like build customization. No. So it's just like you play it once and then you kind of. Uh, my mother's calling me. Oh my goodness. Well, why is my mother calling me? Sorry, my mother wanted to tell me about a, a house that's on the the market. I heard it. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> My mother was like, bro, there's a fucking house on the market from a personal friend, and I think we could probably, it's probably like 200 and something. I was like, fuck, no. So anyway, Nathan got the moon, though. Good work, Nathan. I did. We will have to wrap this up soon, though, because I have to go retrieve my wife. And also buy you dinner. You cool with some Casey's pizza, bro? How about you let me buy dinner for once? How about you suck my cock? You always buy or feed me. Yeah, that's because you're my friend. Well, yeah, but I'm... Oh my god, I love that! My f yeah, it's cool, isn't it? I love that. Like, unapologetically, I love that. How they go into fucking 3... From 2D no, to 3D. This, this game, it, it'll win you over, I bet. I'm t Okay, you know what? Yeah, Alright, one gamer point. It's now at negative one or whatever the fuck the total <laughs> actually is. I'm sure by the end of this, it'll be in all in the Here positives. I know that this game is pretty cool. They get a lot of the less interesting worlds out of the way first. They get like well, you'd think they'd want to put them first, or at least have a mix of them because you'd think so. But like some of the later, like the the food world is probably my favorite. There's food a lot of the world, last ones. yeah. What do you got to jump over deep fryers and shit? Uh, it's like everything's just food, and it's like forks are. Oh, you clever bitch! <laughs> you remember that one. I, you remember I, that one I for sure. I remember there was something. I didn't remember what it was, but... The fucking screen just starts showing up like, Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Hidden room in the inverted pyramid. I think that's why I like this one so much, is that there's just so many little secrets that... It, uh, I like a game that They have to justify having 800, Nathan! I like a game that rewards me for exploring, like, every single possible little thing. There's a lot of games that do that now, but in a less rewarding way than this. Yeah, I just really like, like, you know, I like to... Honestly, games have been missing a lot lately for me. That, I really, it's, it, honestly, the games I want to play are on PS5, and I don't want to buy them on Steam, because I know they're a console game, you know? Yeah. Like, I really want to play Ragnarok. Can't fucking play oh Ragnarok. Oh my gosh. Don't fucking even start. I love, I loved, oh, God of War Omega, and fuck me. Did I want to play Ragnarok when it came out? And every time I open up TikTok to post a clip from my shit, all it was no, was I fucking will, Ragnarok cutscenes. I will scenes. lend you my PlayStation. To let no, I, I don't want to do that to you, but I, I appreciate the hell out of that, but I don't want to do that to you. God of War Ragnarok is probably... I love the, the, the first one, so I know the second one's fucking golden. It's probably, like, my, my favorite, like, story game, at least, in, like... Maybe ever. Game, really? Gameplay-wise, I have others that I like more. But the God of War Ragnarok was, like, so unbelievably well done. And it was so interesting to go from that to playing, like, um... Trans Rights Legacy? Yeah. I'm sorry, Hogwarts Legacy? Yeah. Because, uh... Like, everything about God of War felt so real. Yeah, yeah. Like, the characters and stuff, like, the way they looked, everything just seemed real. I think the gameplay suffers because they want to make such a good story and, yeah. and compelling and characters. The gameplay is okay. I, like, it's not it, bad. It's not bad at all. I just mean, like, I know that the majority of the thought process and the time put into it is the characters, Which the I models, that, the storyboarding, because, all like, that. It absolutely, like, worked. Um, but, the, like, going from that to playing the Hogwarts game is like, it felt like going from watching a really, really phenomenal movie to then playing, like, a pretty good video game. You know what I mean? Like, Play it, yeah. like it was such a completely different experience to play God of War Ragnarok and, like, the quality of the animations and everything was like, it didn't even feel like a video game. It felt like a movie or something. And then, 
Like, the animations of Hogwarts Legacy are very much video game animations. Hmm. No, I, I agree with you. You guys still like this trope where we talk about any other game than the one that's fucking in front of us? <laughs> well, what can you really say? Except well, it's the, fucking uh, Mario. I know. I don't want to bang her. Oh. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Nathan anything. says no to Monster Girls, but rabbits know. without any female characteristics. So for the, well, I guess he's got some female characteristics. I don't uh, want to have sex with this weird rabbit. I Actually, the rabbit would be the best one for you to fuck, because then you could have an entire family that would do your bidding. That's true. Actually, yeah, that's probably the best Monster Girl, now that I think about it. You just pop out fucking offspring and... <laughs> how, long is a, how long is a rabbit's gestational period? I don't know. <laughs> I've never been that curious about it, to be honest. I'm fucking curious right now about it. But am I gonna look it up? No, because that's a search history I don't want to explain to God. Well, there's nothing bad on you about searching. I mean, unless you're like... It's gotta be... It's, okay, I'm gonna search it. It's gotta be like two weeks. It's gotta be like two weeks. That rabbit gestational period. Holy fucking shit. 30 days. It takes a month. How many- Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, hang on. They can breed for five to six months at a time. Bro! You should fuck a rabbit. <laughs> you I don't should- think I should. <laughs> no, dude, if you- it, No. Hang on, if you get fucking zapped into a new world and it's got rabbit girls in it, you need to fuck a rabbit girl. Cause look, look at this, you could fucking easily bring up a battalion of fucking men slash rabbit hybrids and just rule the world. It takes one month for pregnancy, They're, they can get pregnant from five to six months of age, right? So not even a year and they can already pop out more, right? You find one. The first pregnancy can have anything from one to twelve. Jeez. So if any of them are females, you just add them back into the cycle, <laughs> and you can easily have like a hundred fucking... Oh my god. Crazy shit. Crazy shit. Alright, anyway, that's enough about the rabbit battalion. That is a real fucking... I should make a video game about that. How many fucking things can you bring up? <laughs> fucking rabbit battalion. They'd be really good at hopping! They could hop over shield walls? Bro, this is fucking great. This is the fucking best thing in the world. Why are all the best bits at the ending of the episodes? Yeah. God damn it! No one ever watches this long. What is the... Oh, so this one only does the, the nachos. Buy the fucking cowboy hat. Are you kidding me? That's not the hat. The cowboy outfit. Are you okay, are you fine? And get the sticker, too. Uh, well, uh. It, you, there's as many coins as there are things you can buy, so you can get everything. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I kind of figured everything was adding up to... Why is the cheapest thing the, the racist thing? <laughs> Don't ask questions. I'm asking all kinds of don't questions. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. What is the... Do you just... Oh, are these like in... With, yeah, they, they just get placed inside. within the... Okay. Yeah. It's just kind of... Come again! I, I remember Mario Party... Look at me! Oh my... Yeah, I'm Mario! I'm you don't get a gun, Mario. though! Why won't the people at Nintendo let Mario have a gun? Could you imagine how much shorter of a game Zelda would be if fucking Link had a gun? Maybe he will in this next one. He gets to build a car. What? Have you not seen the trailers? No, I haven't he seen that. Literally build cars and stuff. It's like it's like Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. Really? Yeah. See, look, there's my little. Oh guy. yeah, there it is. Oh, well, there might there might not be a lot of worlds then if they're if, if you get two of every if you get two little. Trinkets. There's not a ton. I want to say there's like ten or twelve maybe. And they have eight hundred moons in them. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, Nathan. All right, well... This seems like a good place to call I, I was literally about to say it. I, I think we're good. All right, well, Cowboy Mario's got to mosey on out of here for the moment. But thanks, for everybody, so much for watching. We appreciate you, and especially if you watch all the way to the end to hear me say that. Yeah, And course. also scratch at this weird chocolate thing that my wife has left on my thing here. Anyway, <laughs> I'm a fucking squirrel. <laughs> See you guys later. So long.